Uh, yes, hello, Jenny. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a picture gallery to your products. Um, if you look at your calendars, you have your description here, and then underneath the description of each calendar, you have a picture gallery. And this picture gallery is of each page of the calendar. Then you can scroll through and look at each picture. There's a very specific way that you need to add the pictures for each one of your calendars and I'm going to show you that in this video. It's really very simple. You want to log in and what we're going to do now is we're just going to set up a um, we're going to set up another baby's collection page. I'm just going to walk you through the process from A to Z. Now the first thing we're going to do is when you add a new product or in your case when you add a new calendar you're going to want to upload the images that are going to go on that calendars page so the first thing you want to do is go here to gallery and click on add gallery slash images because what you're going to do first is you're going to add a gallery okay now what we're going to do is we're going to click on add new gallery and we're going to call this babies example and then you're going to click add gallery now once you've done that you can now upload images to that gallery it'll bring you to the upload images page you want to go here to choose gallery select the gallery that you want to upload the images to if you're uploading the images to a gallery that already exists, maybe you're adding more pictures, select the, the gallery that it should go under. In this case, we're doing it under Baby's Example, the new gallery we just set up. And I always like to click this. I suggest you do it as well. It will keep the images at a specific size, which is 800 by 600, standard. So what you want to do is after you've done that you click select files and you go to the folder where your pictures are located at. So we'll go to babies and you can select the pictures one by one and upload specific pictures or you can highlight all of them and select them all at once. By clicking the first uh, picture in the list, holding down the shift key, and then selecting the last one. All of them will be selected and then simply click open. And what that's going to do is it's going to show you all the pictures that you're about to upload. Once you made sure that you have selected the right pictures, simply click upload images, and it's going to go through the process of adding those images to the new gallery that you set up called Baby's Example. So we'll go ahead and allow it to do that. Now, once you get a confirmation, and it's creating the thumbnails really quick, now you're going to get a confirmation that 13 pictures were added successfully to the new gallery. So that's the first step of creating a new product page. You create the gallery of the pictures that's going to go on that page which we've just done we created a new gallery called baby's examples and we just uploaded 13 pictures to it now you go to products add products and we'll call this baby's examples we'll select the category that this calendar goes under in this case it goes under baby's collection and then here you can put your description okay so you can put whatever you want here this is a great calendar and then of course you can spell check you'll see that I spelt calendar wrong so we'll correct that 
Now, what you want to do, you want to insert the gallery that you just created. You go here to Add Next Gen Gallery, click on it, and simply select the gallery that you want to insert into this particular products page. In this example, we're going to use this one, Baby's Example, the gallery we just created. You select the gallery, leave everything else as is, and simply click Insert. That's it. Simple as that. And then you, of course, will go down here. You'll upload your main product image, the picture that will go here on the left. So what we'll do is we'll just click a picture at random. And again, if you upload additional images, it'll go underneath the main one. So let's do a couple. We'll upload a couple extra images just so you can see where they'll go. And then that's it. Because remember, we've already uploaded a gallery with all 12 images of this product here. So we don't need to worry about uploading the images a second time here. I just want to do it as an example just this one time to show you where these additional six images that you can upload will go. And then you scroll down and again, like I explained in the last video, you put in a price. I'll use $27.99 and that's pretty much it. That's all you have to do. Once you've done everything, you'll click publish and you'll get a confirmation that you've added a new product to your website. It'll say published, and all you got to do is view post. And voila, there you have it. We just created a new calendar called Baby's Examples. You can see that this is the description that I just put in. It'll go right here. And this is the gallery that we just created with all, tw all 12 pictures. And remember the additional pictures that I uploaded underneath this main one? these two additional images here, you can see that those go underneath the main image. Okay? Now, because you can only add an additional five images underneath the main product image, that's why I've set this up to where you can add a gallery of all the images for each ga calendar here. And I just walked you through how to do that. So now you know how to insert picture galleries for each one of your calendars. So you can see it's really very simple. Um, that concludes this video and um, thank you very much. If you have any questions you're welcome to email support at mramarketing.com. Thank you.